2.2 Indian Weaver Second Poem Indian Weaver Indian Indian Weaver Indian Weaver The poetess of this poem is Sarojini Sarojini Naidu. Okay. Short introduction about the poetess. Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu was born on 1879 and died on 1400, uh, sorry, 1949. She was political activist, feminist, and the first Indian woman who became president of Indian National Congress. She was an important figure of Indian struggle for independence. Sarojini Nadu's work as a poet earned her a sobriquet of Nightingale of India. Later, she became the governor of United provinces in 1947, became the first woman to hold the offense of governor in independent India. Independent India. Okay. Second stanza about the poetess. The Indian Weaver is a short poem where the poet talks about three types of the garment that weavers weave at the three particular times of the day. Each stanza of the poem represents three important events of the human life, birth, childhood, adulthood, young, and death, old. The color mentioned in stanzas are very significant as they indicate the moods related to the events. The poet is Sarojini Naidu was born on 1879. She was political activist, feminist, and the first Indian woman who became the president of Indian Congress. Surya Naidu the poet earned the subsequent Nightingale. The second name given to that poetess was Nightingale of India. Later on, she was a first woman hold up a piece of the governor in the independent India. Indian weaver in the same poem, the poetess has told three important stages related with the weavers. First stage is a birth. Birth means childhood. Second, adulthood means younger stage. And last one, death means older stage. All three stages are told by the poetess in the same poem in order to indicate the moods of life. Now I am going to read the poem stanza wise. Stanza number one. We were waving at a break of day. Why do you weave a garment so gay? Blue as the wing of a helicon, wild. We weave the robes of newborn child. The weaver was weaving the cloth at that time of the morning. He was continuously doing his duty. But the poet wanted to ask only one question to that weaver. Oh weaver, why are you weaving that cloth at that time of the morning? You have not the time to weave at that, at that time of the midday. Why are you weaving? His cloth at the time of the morning. The weaver says that that I am going to view those clothes at the time of the morning because the time of the morning is very fresh, fresh time. So in a happy mood, I am going to be in the clothes at the time of morning. Blue wing and the color of that cloth was a blue color, like a helicopter. King of Fisher bird, Helicon means King of Fisher bird. His color is blue color. And that color view robs a newborn child. 
means I have been weaving those clothes for the newborn child for making clothes to that child. So I have been, I have weaving clothes at that time of the morning in fresh mood for the fresh child, for the happy child. Stanza number one. Now stanza number second. Weavers weaving at a fall at night. Why do you weave garment it's so bright? Like a plumes of a peacock, purple and a green. We weave the marriage pins of the queen. In the second stanza, the poet is our second question to that viewer means this stage is the adult stage of human life. The viewer is weaving the cloth at the time of the night. And that clothes are very bright. Means it is the time of it is the time of it is the middle stage of the day. Midday. There is a full of moonlight. The moonlight is falling. So the poet has compared that line with the bright sunlight. Means the color of the color of the same garment, same dress was very bright. Like a plume shop, like a feather shop, feathers of peacock. Peacock's color is purple and green. Means the, whenever the peacock is very happy, that time the peacock was dancing. Or the peacock is dancing in order to in order to express his happiness, so viewers marry the of the queen. And that so that veen, that dress, that cloth was made by the poet in order to wear that cloth at that time of the marriage. When adults stage, we are getting married with another person or another lady, that time the pinafore or the marriage wheels are used. And that marriage wheels are used by the queen. Means the weaver was weaving. The weaver was weaving the cloth for the marriage ceremony. For the marriage ceremony of the queen. Now, last stanza. We were weaving the Solomon and steel. What do you weave in the moonlight at chill? At the time of the night, at the time of the night, the weaver was weaving the cloth, but he was very grave. He was very serious. In a serious mood, the weaver was weaving the cloth. Means this is the third stage, the last stage, and that stage is the death stage of human life. What do we weave in the moonlight chill? White as a feather, white as a cloth. And the weaver was, the weaver was weaving white cloth. Whenever he was weaving the white cloth, the poet asked once again the questions to that weaver. And the viewer explained that. The viewer explained that he was weaving the white cloth because that white cloth is used to cover the dead body. And that covered dead body cloth is called a shroud. That cloth is used at the time of the funeral. Here we come to know that the viewer was very nervous. Means it is the last stage of life. Death stage of the human life has been explained by the poetess in the last stanza. This is the important information about the poem of the about the poem Indian viewer by Sarojini Naidu. Thank you.